uh, here Emma again presenting to you this report card management system. This system is just meant for report cards only at primary level now. However, I'm coming for secondary. So here, this system, what you after launching it, then you have to log in with those login credentials. Then you click login like this. When that part is done, it will bring you this interface here with the name of the school. Uh, for example, it is a welcoming, a welcoming window. Then what you do here is say, uh, close, continue. You close. Then it will remain with this window here. So what you do here, it will have the name of your school and blah, 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 even the developer. I am a computer guy. Then what next? You will click on open menu user interface. Now here they will tell you, please don't copy and paste anywhere in this system. Then you accept, you say yes. After accepting, then it will open this main user interface like this. So on this main user interface, actually this is the main user form. Let me select that. It, it has got three modules also. Three modules whereby one, it has general information and all that information which, which you're going to, to look at one by one. It has got these printable reports, mark sheets, and then the subject. How do we start up with, how do we go about this? First of all, what we do, you need to first click on general information like this. General information. And right now here, this window, it will give you <coughs> an option of you setting your school at the moment, let me say. For example, here, you have got an option of setting gradings, like how you, you as a person or the owner of the school, how you want to grade your learners. It is changeable, as you can see, from zero up to 39. According to these guys, they were like from zero up to 39. They, they had told me to set from like that. Now from zero to 39, it is nine for them. But for you, you can also change it. Eh? Maybe from uh, from something like 80 to this, like that, okay? You put a grade. Then come here, you set the class teacher information. For example, class teacher, you answer here, you put a class teacher name. Uh, class, you put a class name. Term, you put a class name, a term name. Yeah, you put a year name. Right now, you're in 23. Now, this term, any date, you put. Next term, that date, you put, okay? Some to put it did. Then the class monitor you put. Now here you come, you put the number of the subjects. The subjects these guys are doing. You put them sub you put the subjects here. Then again you put, but make sure you put the major first, and then the other minors follows. For example, when you're grading, you are, you are considering the other first major subject, the four, which will bring us the outlets which we want. Then you put the teacher initials. For example, this guy is called Rasta. I like Rasta, I don't know why, why I grown from Camus, I don't know. Then, here you put as many subjects until you reach here, this side. Then the number of exams you put, you set the number of exams. These guys are doing three. Let me say, they are doing beginning of term, doing middle of term, and they are doing end of term. Those are three exams. When you are doing two, you put two. When you are doing one, you put one. Then, you come again here, you set in your remarks. If these ones can be changed any time. If you, put, if you feel like you have put something wrong, you can come again later and change. When that part is done, you can put as many from here up to this side, down here. You, you have an unlimited space. Then from there, you click again, back menu user interface. On back menu user interface, then there is this part here, which is a student list and buyer data. On this part here, our work is only to put in the name of the students. Let me say, let me give an example. This is, is called the, this one is called the Tumusime. Tumusime, I'm putting here the name. Tumusi, Tumusime, Neira. Tumusime, Neira. Now, these numbers here will be auto, auto incremented. So long as for your work, you put, you just put here the name, this number will be auto incremented. After sensing here, there is a, 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 a data, then the, the, here the number will be increasing itself. Then you put in the admission number, if at all you want. Then you put six, let me say, female. You put age, let me say, five years. You put house, if at all it is there, uh, Mandela, which is very common. Then you put status, door boarding, if you want, if you put it there. Then the number of subjects, very important. You put the number of subjects, because we are going to base on this to get the average somewhere where we are heading there. If you want, you can put the fees balance. Uh, uh, fees balance, let me say. But this one can be done maybe at the end of the term. Then, term fees, if you want, you can put here the term fees. 
which you guys are going to set then the pay code if you want you can put here the pay code okay like that way then continue up to the end we don't even when you don't save the other work is already saved automatically because there is technology behind it which is which i, I used vba advanced which can save your work automatically so when that part is done you come back here and say student uh student photos if you want photos to appear on a report card what you do you just click here you, you those will be there now your work here will just put you'll be uploading photos only don't touch on the name if at all you realize that you on this part and realize that the name here is wrong what you do you have to go back on a student and data and change that name but not changing from here even if you change it from here it will not be acceptable okay that those are the error you'll be getting now now here you put the picture by clicking there you see insert when you click on insert here it will bring option for you up adding a picture from wherever it is you just look for it uh, you just look for it wherever it is you upload a picture immediately of that learner i'm assuming here is our learner of that name emma now you say back to menu menu then here you have um, this one is not uh you have here what we call end of rem end, end of term remark sheet you just click on it then you scroll at the end here like this you make sure head teacher and class to defend their, their comments but according to me i set these things like this in the categories for example especially most primary report cards they are basing on aggregates so i set them in the categories whereby somebody who gets between four and six uh you can choose from these categories teacher also the same thing these comments goes up down here these are just mine my demo for you you can put whatever you feel like you want okay you can put whatever you feel like you want then these ones will be used somewhere there whereas we are coming back for on that part but since they have already set theirs it's okay now before you attach this part of uh, printable reports and whatever you need to come back and our own subjects here like this you see these subjects you come back click on this subject for example english you have set english now what you do you have seen neither now let us let, let us give him give her max neither just like that now on on clicking here you see this button which say click here to save your data then you just click save your data like this when you save your data uh here you have to save because this part is very essential what you do after putting your marks then you click here to open save your data but just clicking that button then after you just click on back on back many and then here you, you ask a question have you saved your data with a blue text button if you say yes then it will continue here again you have options for clearing all this data but only the, the information you have put from here for example the max only then you just say you have saved then it takes you back to another subject which is mathematics and we here we're just filling in for neither only because you want to see the outcome at the end okay like that don't mind of the rest here you have just to put in the max only then you just see life moving on uh and here then again you go to science you put the max for nera it's what you want to capture and see what exactly we'll get at the end and put the max for nera come back uh, we on social studies uh put the max for this person like this mm -hmm. we are going here we are reading beginning mid term and end of term mm -hmm. we are going we are going we are going we are going, we are going. okay very good again you can see the US education here uh, we can put max for neither we can put max for neither then we see save your data saving data mm -hmm. it's done <coughs> we are saving data you're done here then from there uh you are done that part if at all those guys are doing external exam external if at all they're doing end two you can click this button here now you can save an area here it's just a matter of putting max you see how the gradings will be uh adding themselves you see here upgrade will be kind this person is already in the second grade but when you just put here something like a 90 depending how you have said the upgrade this person will be pushing out the first grade just click back many many now that part is done 
you come here on printable mark sheet and printable whatever. Then here you have you can see here our nader is not appearing simply because we have interpreted anything nader is not appearing here. So the system is reading the other old data. So what we can do here is just a matter of generating now. We just click on generate the beginning of term. Nader is going to appear. If you click generate the beginning of term, nader is here in the middle. You can see all the subjects this person has done is in second grade. Then you can again go and analyze how have they done the beginning of term by clicking on this button, go to subject analysis. Now this part here will show you the, uh, the subject analysis, okay? You see English, mathematics, science, social studies, the major first, the major four subjects first, and the performance. How many students have got D1s in English? You'll be seeing them here. D2s, how many? This one, how many? Then you'll be seeing how many were there in total? They were six. Okay, how many were, were they absent on, the, on that paper? They were these ones. Okay, if the if the cell is blank, that means it is zero. And here it is reading beginning of term set. Okay, now again here it says aggregates analysis. Here you're analyzing the aggregates. How many have got four? How many have got six? It goes up to thirty. If it goes up to thirty six, how many were present in the, in the exam? How many were absent? Okay, how many are the total in the class? How many were absent in that exam? The division analysis. The same thing you go and analyze here how many have got division one how many are they how many have uh, division three how many are division like that like that at the end how many in total how many are absent then just a matter of printing this report here and present to the, to the person you concerned okay let's press the other button there then it's a matter of pressing a button and then print all the required thing like that it is done here remember we are just on the beginning of term only then you can go back and generate mid term, okay? Again, Nira will be here, and Nira here is the second now. Again, you generate the end of term. The same thing, you can go and analyze your data down here. For example, here, just click on the button. Now it reads E2, end of term to set. The same performance as you can see different, but this one has picked the data for the end two, okay? Like that. When that part is done, after generating this, then it is done. As you can see, it will be reading what you have generated. If I click on end of, end of term, now, like this one, it reads that, okay? Now, that part is done. Click here, back to menu, menu. When that part is done here, then you have to come back here on the end of term remark sheet, like this. Now, there is here, cut for you, you based on whatever you want. You can based on total, you can based on average, you can based on average info, you can based on position, you can get on the vision to give the marks here, to, to give the comments. Just a matter of clicking here and choose from the drop down according to what they have said in this guy. Just say this person, and again, this person I'm giving this comment depending how you have set your your system okay like that then back to menu menu there is no need of keep saving things are just made automatically now when those two parts are done remember this guy we have not given him a picture this guy called the Naira because he's our main aim let me keep click it here I give her a picture this is our Naira like this okay then I go back to the part now we have, I'm going to now to process the report cards. These two report cards. We have got end of term, end, end of term report. We have got mid term report. Let us, let us first see how mid term report card looks like. If we just that button, you will see this is how it looks like. The, the, the name of the school, the, 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 the address, you can see whatever I put. And you can see here, it reads full max, beginning of term, outgates, mid term, outgates. And then the comments come. This comment is basing on the two. If at all the beginning, if at all the midterm report, they have just done one exam. Now that means these remarks will be basing on these aggregates only. But if they do two, the condition will be based on this and based on this. Give you the what? This term here. I like that. And now you can see uh, we have division, we have average, we have both aggregates, we have mid aggregates like that. We have got the comments have come automatically. Everything is fine. You can see the grading is how you are set. Even if you change your side here, it will change automatically. Then the signature for all you want, just a matter of printing. Now here it is just a matter of clicking next, next, next. You want to look for Nera, Nera is here. You can see. This is a report card, how to look like. Just a matter of printing like this, and it comes out, okay? It comes out like the format of a report card. You can see how smart it is. Then from there, from there, you can opt to say that I want to print in the Baluki. I want to print the report this report cards in the Baluki because there are those who say that I can't print one by one. Just a matter of pressing this button here and say print all report cards. That means it will print all the six report cards.